What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. We are here today in Old Pajeda, actually for the next three days, for the Cheetah Project once again. So for those of you who don't know, um, the Cheetah Project is funded by a non-profit organization mm -hmm. and we're here to do an official count of the cheetahs in Old Pajeda. Um, it's a really important part of conservation too, so here trying to figure out like, hey, are the numbers declining still? Are they kind of increasing which is hard for us to do too because there's actually never been an official count so we are all about conservation so yeah. we are here to help as much as we can and and trying to you know not, not disturb anyone yeah <laughs> uh, all the money that we make from this video will be donated to the cheetah project and if you want to give some more well i'm gonna put their link down below where you can as well do a donation but if you can't just watch this video make sure to like it share it with your friends because the more people who are watching the more money we'll be able to give for the conservation of the cheetah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Do you have everything? Yeah. Camera gear? Check. Wallet's in there too? Yeah, it is. Snacks? Oh, super check. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Check. <laughs> And we have arrived at the stable where we're gonna go meet our team for the next three days. So behind me, I have the July 2021 team for the Cheetah Project, and we have me, me, you but know you, me? yeah, you guys know Tracy. <laughs> next, <laughs> Farmy, Mallory, Juliana, Jasmine, Mahaley, Tyler, Kevin. Are you guys ready to find some cheetahs? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So those two are two trusty drivers. Kim, you guys know him from the last video, and Chris is gonna be our driver for this time. You guys ready? Yes, we are. Let's go. <laughs> and we've got Ravi as well, the Stop. men in charge, the Stop. men in charge. Bravo team, you can go ahead with the Veda update. So as you can see this time, our team is much bigger than last time. Um, so basically last time when we were here, it was a bit of a trial run, kind of like scouting around, seeing if there were specific areas that that's where the cheetahs would gravitate towards more. And starting now in July is when the official count is starting. So you have your paw prints, we have the cameras, and a lot more vehicles on the road. So multiple camera traps have been installed all around Old Pajeda hoping to capture some cheetah picture and all those pictures were actually going to be analyzed by a team after the fact to, hoping, to hopefully identify cheetahs. What's your role here Tracy? What are you doing? Um, I am a site supervisor. <laughs> yeah. Is she executive, doing, is she doing great? Level. Executive level. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Is she doing great there? Yeah. 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 I, think, I think she's doing some good yeah. supervision here. Yeah. What would be yeah. the Cheetah Project without Tracy? Damn. Don't know what they'd be doing. <laughs> Everyone stays on the lookout as we drive around. So we just entered Zuri's territory and she is a female cheetah and we're hoping that we'll get lucky. Anyways, we're gonna stay here for about 10 minutes or so just to see. No luck, but we don't give up. No, of course we don't give up. <laughs> it's just day one. <laughs> Time to go back to the camp and get some supper. We came back just in time for the rain. Back at the tent, it's 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 raining quite a bit now, and it's uh it's chilly too. Kenya does get cold at this time of the year, especially in this region. <sighs> Got it. So we just came back from our day one of the Cheetah Project. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually have not seen a cheetah. They've been here for a week. They have not seen a cheetah. Other guests have. Yeah. Um, but the problem is, is they keep tagging them online instead of radioing. So yeah. therefore, 
they find out the next day that there is a sighting in this area. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it's our time soon. Um, fingers crossed. Last time we were here at the Cheetah Project, we saw Shh. everything but cheetahs. Did we say that there's... They've counted eight officially so far. Yeah, so that's actually very good progress. Yeah. And we hope that we're going to find a ninth one, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. Or maybe just see like one of the eight. I'd be happy Any, with that. Anything would work. Yeah. But we still have a lot of time, so we're going to stay positive. Yeah. And otherwise, it's not a problem because we met a bunch of cool people mm -hmm. from, from Australia, the US, from Sri Lanka, from everywhere around the world. So like that's that's always nice to meet some new people. By the way, if you wonder where we are at right now, make sure to watch our previous video where yes. we did a little tour of this nice little camp. But otherwise, we're going to see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be early. We are going to be on the hunt for cheetahs. Not not hunting cheetahs, but on yeah, the hunt no, no, to no. watch cheetahs. You guys know. See you in the morning. <laughs> Good day. Change of plans. We got to adapt today. They have an extra volunteer, so sadly they don't have a space for for us. <laughs> Actually, it's either me or Tracy, but we're, we yeah. can't be separated. <laughs> no, no, no. So they don't have space for us in their truck. So what we're going to do is that, you know, I have a nice Land Rover Discovery all jacked up with crazy off-road tires. So we're going to do our own cheetah project today. Yeah, so we have contact with them and everything. So that way we can just send directly to them yep. a pin if we find one. We'll go from there. So they didn't spot any cheetahs yet, so maybe we're gonna have better luck. Could you imagine? That'd be oh, great. Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Fueling up for your safari. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's go on an adventure. It's time to put our sweaters on. Never thought I'd say that, but it does get really cold at this time. But the of thing year. is, like the sun is nice, but the breeze here. The wind it's, is yeah, very it's not cold. a breeze, it's a wind. And like it's cold. Little quick stop at the equator. We're right on the line right now. I don't know don't why know it fascinates me so much. This is the middle of the planet. It is fascinating. Yeah, I don't know why. It's probably because we would never have that opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah. Any day you see elephants, it's a good day. And I see elephants. <laughs> I love that sign. It says that basically the bridge was rated for 11 tons, so elephants are required to cross two at a time. <laughs> So the camp graciously packed us our own sundowner bag. So I think before we head back, we just have a nice little viewpoint for the sun going down. Go sit here for a few minutes and have a sundowner. And enjoy some popcorn. Yes, yeah, so we have popcorn and like bacon wrapped sausages. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Well, that was another unsuccessful drive. Well, let's not say unsuccessful. For cheetahs. Unsuccessful cheetah-wise. Yeah. But we still had a good time. Saw some elephants, even though... The uh, tiniest yeah, the tiniest elephant, elephant. ever seen. Yeah, he was nursing with his mom. That was cool. That was Otherwise, so cute. rhinos, the, the amount of buffaloes in Opajeda is just unreal. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, and finished with a little sundowner. So now we are back at the camp. I'm going to have supper, rest, because tomorrow, early morning, mm. back with the cheetah project this time for real and yeah that's pretty much it it is see you guys in the morning <laughs> Good morning guys, it is now day three of the cheetah project. Another day, another chance to find some cheetahs. Today is the day I dreamed about it. You dreamed about it too, right? That we're yeah. gonna find cheetahs. We're gonna find about seven to eight cheetahs today, All which is gonna be fantastic. Yeah, no, but on the plus side, like, you know, even if, you, if we don't find any, at the yeah. end of the day, we get to hang out with some cool people from all around the world, mm -hmm. drive around, watch some animals, and just enjoy your time in Kenya. I love it. <laughs> so we're gonna drive <laughs> to the stable. Too? Oh, there you go. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, coffee, yeah. So now we're gonna drive to the stable and meet with the rest of the crew. The sun's gonna rise, but always on the wrong time around. Stop by the wrong <laughs> Oh, this way by the south. 
Hello everyone. Hello team. Good morning. We always say every day is a new day. Every time is a new time. And today is the first day of the rest of our life. Let's see what the day has for us. Okay team? Yeah. Okay. I love this speech so much, like every time I get shivers. <laughs> so Team Bravo is going with the Ranger and they're going over to the unexplored side of Old Pajetta. So my understanding is like a new area that they've kind of acquired. <laughs> Bravo team, uh, go ahead. Good morning Alpha team, this is your captain speaking from the Bravo team. Breakfast will be served on this flight. Um, <laughs> we'll be at a cruising altitude of around 1800 meters above sea level and a speed of approximately 15 kilometers an hour unless we get a call about a cheetah and then it's just ridiculous hold on to your hat yeah so this is the app that we use to document our sightings any cheetahs or we're also trying to see the jackals and how their population is changing so we also document that here so we just add the sighting here add the number of individuals and the app will automatically record the location so at the end of it we can see a map with wherever we spotted any of the animals so the reason they mentioned in there tracking the jackals is because we're kind of starting to think that the jackals might be partially responsible for cheetah cubs disappearing, basically, in nice words. <laughs> Even though like they are normally scavengers, there is not a lot to scavenge right now uh, within yeah. Opajeta. So they actually have seen multiple jackals attack uh, little herbivores. So this is still an hypothesis right now. So we are in a very bushy area where a cheetah was actually spotted by a ranger a few days ago. So we're going to do a really good search of the area and actually get out and see if there's any paw prints as well. So this is kind of our hangout spot for a couple minutes. You got no chance in this life. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Getting precious insight from the ranger in exchange for a bottle of water. <laughs> Time for a little bush breakfast. Yeah, I'm hungry. You guys will see. She's gonna make some, you know, pretty intense uh, coffee right here in the middle of the bush. It's gonna be amazing. Welcome to Starbush, where Tracy makes coffee for everyone with a French press. Okay, what do we have in there, Tracy? We have. Oh, Moses! <laughs> Got some bacon. Add boiled eggs. Some pancakes. Some bread. And then we have jams and juice. What do we have? We have pineapple juice this morning. I think that's enough. <laughs> Bellies are full, ready to go back on the road, or trail, trail. <laughs> So we just came across uh, at the baby, we don't really know what it is, <laughs> it's mixed reviews. Anyways, we're, we logged it because we think it would be a good spot to come back as well to see if a cheetah or if anyone gets a hold of it because there's been no attack marks on it so it kind of looks like it just died on its own. So still no cheetahs but we just found two of the hybrids zebras which are a mix of the common zebra and the gravy zebra and apparently there's about eight here around old Pajetta. Since old Pajetta noticed the hybridization of the zebras they decided to put the gravy zebra in a different area. It is lunchtime and we're going to a pretty cool place here at old Pajetta for lunch which is Moran. That's where we were last time when we were here. I don't know if we showed them. The no, cafe. we didn't show them. Anyway, this so that's is where the time we did, like, that we're the gonna dog show you. Yeah, like yep. the rhino thing. Yeah. So, check it out. There's even elephants right there having lunch too. Welcome to Moran.
As you can see, staff is very accommodating as well. Wanted to eat outside, but they didn't really have a big enough table, so they'll just set us up. So we just had a great lunch at Marani here at Old Pajeda. Was delicious. Mm. Tracy took good. a little uh, coffee to go. Mocha. You know, so little good. pick me up in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go back in the truck and carry on with the search for cheetahs. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers <laughs> crossed. So at that water and hole, they actually placed a trap camera, I think at the beginning of the week or something. And last time in February, we placed one there as well. But they went back to check on it and it was a little destroyed. It had some bite marks on it. I guess they think a hyena went in and tried to, I don't know, eat it, whatever they wanted to do. But the funny part is, is the SD card got lost out of it. So in the process, I don't know what happened. So we don't have the footage, but that would have been hilarious to see. <laughs> Looks like something bit that one as well. Those cameras must be tasty somehow. So we just came across an elephant that was in a car accident when it was a baby. And now it's 35 years old, still walking, but he definitely has a noticeable limp. This guy is a survivor. And just like that, we are back after our third day with the Cheetah Project. We just reviewed the footage, see what happened with the camera. It was a cow. A Not, cow knocked it down. Nothing else than a cow. Not that <laughs> exciting. Thank you so much for having us, guys. See you next time, and we hope that you guys find a lot of cheetahs. <laughs> Cheers. <Thank you>. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was about 11 hours of driving around. That's so longer. right now, we're gonna go back to our camp and we're gonna catch you guys back up there. <laughs> and we are back from our third day with the Cheetah Project. Like I said earlier, 11 hours, that was quite That's something. Sadly, we didn't see any cheetahs, but you gotta stay positive. So on the bright side of that, in Old Pajetta, we have actually identified, well, the team has actually identified eight different cheetahs. So that's been with the help of like the camps and lodges around, sending in pictures, the visitors, mm -hmm. everything like that. And that's more than what we thought were here. Yeah. We honestly thought there was like five. Yeah, I'm being generous like and more like three. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very hard to spot the cheetahs here, even though this time we had two cars on the road, actually three yesterday yeah. with us and yeah. very experienced guides. It, Hope Pajeta is humongous and cheetahs, the cheetah population is very low. So yeah. even though the team has been here for a week and a half now, they're going to be here for an extra four days, but still they yeah. didn't see any cheetahs for, for this time. Yeah. And it's so hard too, because like you get a guide or a visitor radio in that like, Hey, we found it. By the time you actually get there, they're so like cheetahs live in that like bushy area. Yeah if they're not in the open plains. So as soon as you're there, like you can only go off-road so much. Yes, we had an off-road permit. Yeah. <laughs> um, like you can only go so far and then you lose them. So yeah. we know they're here. We but just, they're hiding. <laughs> they're just hard to find. <laughs> so if you want to support the Cheetah Project, check out the first link down below. You can yeah. make a donation to the Serendipity Wildlife Foundation. And if you can't support them money-wise, well, just like this video, send them to send it to all your friends and families yeah. because the most people who are watching this, the more money we're going to be able to donate to the foundation yeah. uh, and hopefully goes towards the, uh, the Cheetah Project. So at the end of these three videos mm -hmm. of the Cheetah Project, We'll do an announcement of how much has been raised, raised basically yeah. from the videos and we're going to donate at the end of that instead mm -hmm. of, it gives the videos more time to kind of accumulate. Make money. Yeah. yeah. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Yeah. So make sure to share this video again with everyone you know. And until then, well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one. <laughs>